So, you've got yourself an interview for a job in the BC Public Service. Hey, way to go. Here are some handy tips to prepare for the big day. Interviews may include situational or behavioral interview questions. What does that mean? Situational interview questions describe a hypothetical situation based on real-life, job-related occurrences. You will be asked how you would handle the situation. For example, your coworker and you have divided up the work on a project. However, your coworker fails to do their share of the work. What would you do? Prepare by reading the job profile and thinking about some scenarios you might encounter. Consider how you would approach these challenges. Behavioral questions will ask you to give examples from your past experiences that highlight your successes and how you do your work. It's kind of like telling a story of your experience. Some key points to keep in mind? Think of relevant examples, and examples that relate to the job that you're interviewing for. Try to use work-related examples if you can. If that's not possible, examples related to volunteer work, school, or coaching are good options. Focus on your role in the example. What did you think, say, or do? And last but not least, organize your thoughts around key points you want to cover. Just remember, you're telling your story, and you want to showcase your behaviors, attributes, and traits, also known as competencies. Now let's talk about competencies. Competencies describe the attributes that you demonstrate when doing a job. One competency is problem solving. This is the ability to analyze problems systematically and organize information. Another one is results orientation. This is the concern for surpassing a standard of excellence. You can learn more about BC Public Service competencies on our website. Yeah, that website, right there. And that brings us to our next tip. Do your research. Look at the ministry website and study press releases. Read the job profile carefully and understand the role. The specific competencies needed for the job you're applying for should be listed in the job profile. Remember how we talked about preparing examples from past experiences? Use these specific competencies to help you prepare these examples. If you need more information about the position, email the contact person listed in the posting and see if they can answer your questions. Applicants with disabilities can ask for accommodations at any time in the process. This can include asking for more time for a written assignment or holding an interview in an accessible location. Indigenous applicants can ask for coaching on the interview process, including mock interviews. For more information, Indigenous applicants can contact the Indigenous Applicant Advisor. Okay, so now you know about the types of questions you will be asked. You've done your research, and you've prepared past examples related to your competencies. What's next? Practice. Practice delivering your examples, alone in front of the mirror, with family or friends, or even with your pet. Practice telling your story. The more you prepare, the more confident you will be during the interview.